you draw the line? Honestly, where do you draw the line? I, I think the line should have been drawn a couple years ago. And, exactly. And this is my take on it. I honestly think, and, and I'm not like a bit like you guys listen to this show all the time. I'm not a big government. You know, government needs to come in and regulate this to fix it, blah, blah, blah. The government actually has to step in, and it needs to be on a federal level. And honestly, governments around the world need to do something. And I've already seen China and the U.S. are both like speculating doing it now. This isn't like a left versus right, right. capitalism, socialism, command economy versus free market. This is like the survival of the human species. And what's even more messed up is they can probably find a way to control it, but still like let it grow as it yeah. is. But still put it out to the public, like, hey, look at this cool new thing we got. Right. Like, you know, like with Alexa. Right. You know what I mean? Like, she can pretty much talk to you. She can turn your lights on and off yeah. for you, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. You know, but. Yeah, no, there needs to be a governor on it is what you're saying. Exactly. Yeah, exa I, I, I agree. Exactly. I agree. Well, the problem is no technology in this country. Medical technology, compute, like, when you, like, design programs like we use on the computers, video games, automobiles, airplanes, boats, nothing. There is no technology in this country that has less regulation than AI. AI is the only technology that we just go, yeah, go ahead, figure it out. It's all you. Like, I mean, you think about like cars, like everything on a car right. is regulated, you know, to the airbags, the right, seat belts, yeah. every, the GPS, the backup camera, everything is regulated for safety standards on a car down to like the millimeter. And whether that's too much or not, we can have a discussion, like a philo philosophical discussion another time. AI is the only technology where they're just... Figure it out. It's on you guys. Think about this. What point does it get to where AI causes people to riot? Because if you take away some sort of convenience, especially in this country. Well, if it shuts down food. If, it, if AI yeah. is already being convenient for an uh, enormous uh, group of people, mm -hmm. and then you have to regulate that and be like, all right, we're getting a little out of control here, and you have to take that away. Mm hmm we don't like stuff being taken away. No. You know what I mean? Well, you saw it during COVID. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, exactly. Exactly. On, like on a national scale. So like. Well, I mean, I, I think the federal government has to step in because it's like. Oh, absolutely. It, well, with the, the thing about like 85% lo like of jobs being gone in 10 years, we cannot afford for the overwhelming majority of the middle and lower class to all lose their jobs in 10 years. We just can't afford it. There will be riots. There will be blood in the streets. There will be, like, a mass revolt. It'll be bad. We cannot afford that. We can't... This country can't afford it financially. We can't afford it mentally, spiritually. It's like nothing. We cannot afford for 85% of the country to lose. Just, like, one industry. Like, imagine if, like... What's, like, a common middle-class industry? Like, welders or truck drivers all lost their jobs overnight. The chaos that would ensue from just that one industry yep. losing all of its jobs overnight. They, they can't afford to take care of those people. Those people have gotten deep into a career path, and that's where all their skills are. And now you're saying, good luck, go figure it out. Go learn to code. Like, that that's not how it works. So it's exactly. just, like, the federal government... And I'm... Far from one to ask for the government to get involved. You guys listen. We're on what? Episode 32, 33. You guys know, listening to this show, that's not me. That's not who I am. And I also don't deal in panic porn. So I'm doing two things I normally don't do, which is talk about how, hey, this is actually as bad, if not worse, as they're making it sound. And hey, maybe the government should get involved here. That's how you know we're in dire situation right now. That's how you know this is a serious serious problem hey thanks for watching if you liked what you saw be sure to click the link in the description to get the full episode on rumble if you prefer to listen along you can actually get us on spotify spreaker and iHeartRadio. you can also go to www.outlawstreamers.com to learn more about not just my show but tons of other great shows and all the exciting projects they have coming up follow my socials at caleb isn't funny on twitter and instagram at caleb salvatore comedy on the chinese spy app that is tiktok and be sure to like and subscribe to this youtube channel thanks and we'll see you every Saturday for brand new episodes of That's Based. Peace.